still have our garden variety regression model, and we have that uh, the expected value of u given x is zero. The expected value of u prime x is zero, and the rank of x is k. As scholars, what are we in the business of doing? Okay, so some part of what you're going to do is prediction, but how are you going to know ex ante whether or not your prediction is any good? So you have to do something else first. Besides the basic hypothesis, you have to test the hypothesis. Isn't that going to be the bread and butter of your daily existence? We're in the business of testing hypotheses, and that's our garden variety regression model. And so a generic hypothesis might be that alpha transpose beta minus r is equal to zero, where alpha is alpha transpose is a k by one vector, is a one by k vector of our choice, and beta is k by one, so little r is one by one. So we get to pick alpha and lowercase r arbitrarily, depending on the specific hypothesis that we want to test. So for example, if we wanted to test the hypothesis that the third beta is zero, we would choose little r to be zero, and we could choose alpha transpose to have a one in the third position and zeros everywhere else. If we wanted to test that, suppose we had estimated the top Douglas production function, and we wanted to test the hypothesis that there were constant returns to scale, then we would just show, we would just, if we just had two inputs, suppose we had the model that Q is equal to uh, A times K to the alpha times L to the beta. We take logs of both sides, estimate big A, the log of big A, alpha, and beta, and then we want to test the hypothesis that alpha plus beta is equal to one. In which case, the in my notation here, alpha transpose is zero, one, one, and beta is the vector big A, alpha, beta, the log of big A, alpha, beta. So I can concoct any test of hypothesis I want from this fashion against the alternate, but that's not clear. What test statistic am I going to use to test that hypothesis. Yeah, we're going to use a t-statistic. Then how am I going to construct my observed t-statistic? What do you think would be a good starting point? How am I going to estimate beta? Or how am I going to estimate that linear combination? As economists and statisticians, we're not wildly creative. We started off in basic statistics with that test of hypothesis, right? For the random variable x, we wanted to test that hypothesis. And so you use x bar as your estimator for you. And then the test statistic that you use, uh, let's make this, we'll be a little bit more clear. All that, if you have a specific number in mind. The test statistic that we use was x bar minus mu zero uh, uh, s over square root of n, right? That was a t statistic that we used way back in beginning of statistics. So why should we do anything different now? We told you we wanted to use t statistics. So my t statistic is going to be the ratio of Two things, isn't it? What do you think I ought to put in the numerator? Um, you ought to have a sample, sample statistic. Yeah, and what's the, what's the sample statistic? Beta hat. Beta hat. And what am I going to have to put in the denominator? Well, what did I put in the, what's the generic name of what I put in the denominator here? Generic is standard error. So the standard error of the sample mean went in the denominator. So what do you suppose I'm going to put in? The denominator there. The standard error of that linear combination. So I need to know, in order to do that, one of the things that I need to know is the there. Is the variance of alpha transpose beta hat minus r. What's the variance of a constant times a random variable? Yeah, so it's a constant squared times the variance of the random variable. What's the variance of a constant? Zero. So I can divide this into two pieces because, again, variance with a linear operator. I can look at the variance of alpha prime beta hat minus the variance of the log. And Hoxton just told us that that part is zero, right? He also told us that the variance of a constant times a random variable is the constant squared times the variance of a random variable. Uh, is 
sample mean minus the mean of the null hypothesis. Okay, so for for the numerator there, uh, I plus the Under the null hypothesis, what's that difference equal to? Zero. Um, so if you want it, I could write that. But under the null hypothesis, what's that equal to? Zero. So we're interested in, we just, one of you told me that the variance of a constant times a random variable is a constant squared times a random variable. But that's for scalar random variable. Now we have a random vector data hat. So how are we going to accommodate that? JJ, how come I haven't called on you tonight? You have. And they also volunteer oh. information like about item potency. Uh, right. <laughs> without uh, more remind me when I get to your card to give you credit for that. Mm. Uh, so what's the variance of alpha transpose beta hat? Uh, what's the variance of beta hat? And we decided earlier, a few minutes ago, that the variance of beta hat was sigma squared times x transpose x inverse. Right? But now we've got a little problem because now we want to figure out the variance of alpha transpose beta hat. One of the ways to, since we seem to be stumbling here, in general, how do I figure out, bring the R over. Let's talk about the variance of any random variable V. How do I figure out the variance of, it? using expectations operators, how do I figure out the variance of any random variable V? Just to So let's do that now. So this is equal to the expected value of alpha transpose beta hat minus alpha transpose beta. Remember, beta hat is an unbiased estimator, so I can immediately substitute away. Times alpha uh, alpha transpose beta hat minus alpha transpose beta. Is there anything that I could factor out of this? Who picked alpha? You. You're the person who's testing the hypothesis. Right? So that's something that's known to you. So when we factor out alpha transpose on the left and alpha on the right, we get alpha transpose times the expected value of beta hat minus beta, post multiplied by beta hat minus beta transpose, post multiplied by alpha. What's the expectation of the middle part? What's that equal to? So what we need to put up here is sigma times the square root of alpha transpose x prime x inverse alpha. And don't we have to construct an estimator for sigma? Yeah. So sigma hat. And we already know how to get sigma hat. How did you get from that conclusion there to that denominator? Where is that? You said that the stuff inside the square bracket was equal to? Um, this is equal to sigma squared times x prime x. Oops, I got the alpha. Alpha prime x prime x inverse alpha. Isn't that the variance of my random variable? And in my case, example, we use, we use the standard error in the denominator. That's because we refer to this as the standard error, although it is the f squared over m is the variance of x bar. Okay. But we refer to this as the standard error because we don't want to confuse it with the standard deviation, which is x. So there's my t. 